Good morning, everyone tuning in. Hope you enjoy the sound of the birds this morning. Uh, today's Monday, April 5th, Easter Monday, just a week before Ramadan here in Morocco. Uh, back in the USA, across the nation, people celebrated Easter here in Morocco, very small percentage. Uh, celebrating Easter, mostly Spaniards, some uh, sub-Saharan Africans, I believe, are Christians here in Morocco. One time, my grandma, I was showing her YouTube. I'm like, yeah, you can search anything on the internet. Uh, she's like, okay, Christianity in Morocco. So we looked up a little documentary on Christianity in Morocco. It was quite interesting. I did not know the effect or tolerance or anything going on there, but cool little thing. Um, and it seems <laughs> what's trending these days is still the same old, same old uh, coronavirus. Uh, vaccines are now rolling out. You know, a year ago we were all like, please give us a vaccine, please find one. And now we're still like, uh, we, we need to find one, you know, to have them. I'm doing well, Zakaria, thank you. And there's a article here on CNN Travel. Uh, these American expats are willing to travel for more than 5,000 miles for their shots. And it's stories of people who are in Europe mostly, who are traveling 30 hours, three flights, just to go back to USA and get a vaccine. They're saying, oh, we moved to Europe for better health care, and now we're going back to the USA for health care. And it's just kind of a, a silly situation. Um, I don't have that desire. If I'm going home, it's to see my family. It's not to get uh, a shot, you know? <laughs> but I guess these people are really uh, anxious or maybe they're, they're very, uh, I don't know, vulnerable. But they want to travel back to USA. There's this elements of getting some elements of control back in their lives. They want to take control. Um, but that's always an illusion. You never have control. So good luck with that. Going to USA, getting a vaccine makes you feel in control. It's an illusion. So um, stick with where you're at, I guess. But yeah, that was just a article that I found very interesting. And also a phenomenon is like, oh yeah, I got my shot, I'm gonna take a selfie. Like, when when do people do that, <laughs> you know? I got my, uh, what did I get before Morocco? Uh, hepatitis A and um, not typhoid, what was it? Something else, I still need my booster for my hepatitis A. I got that shot in 2017, but never got the follow-up. You need two shots within five years. Um, so yeah, vaccines are weird. You could take this one shot and then apparently I'm good as long as I get another one in five years. And then now I'm seeing articles about the vaccine. Oh, how good is the coronavirus vaccine good for? It's like, huh? I thought this was good, you know? I thought this was it. But, you know, if it's like the flu, they do a new one every year. And, yeah, so it's a little, it's a little weird. That being said, I am not traveling to the USA to get a vaccine. And neither will Andrea. Uh, in Chicago news, Chicago, oh, I think it was a bad, bad month for Chicago. Um, I believe March was one of the worst months in gun violence in, I, th I don't wanna say the year, cause the year's short, but definitely since coronavirus, just this weekend, 30 shot, six fatally shot in weekend violence across the city. And that's one city, it's bad. Um, so I will not be going to uh, Chicago for safety either. Uh, there was, uh, Moroccan terrorist cell that was broken up in Ujda. That was an interesting uh, news. They, their aims were to spark a war between Algeria and Morocco. They were um, terrorist ISIS affiliates and they wanted to attack certain outposts and start more of a conflict. Luckily, they were uh, apprehended and it all seemed very... Uh, basic the planning is like some 20 somethings 
and the, the plants didn't come to fruition. Alhamdulillah. Really good that Morocco stays on top of that. I, it makes me feel safe whenever they're having these uh, dismantling of terror cells. It's good to see that that is not tolerated. I even saw um, an article, they're training influencers. The Islamic League is training influencers to promote tolerance and combat religious extremism. So they're recruiting um, uh, influence, well not influencers, people that could be influencers in the university to influence, to give them the tools to say, hey, this is how we do this. <laughs> Someone says they don't understand the title. I don't even understand the title. I didn't exactly know what I was coming on here to talk about. Because when you go to vaccines and coronavirus, it's such a uh, controversial thing that YouTube can even just like, okay, we're not going to show this guy anymore. There's uh, an element of censorship that's going on that, um, you know, I don't want to put this, I want to keep getting promoted for our videos when we're showing soups and surf and things. And then if we talk about something real, then it could get weird, you know? So I was hesitant to put that in the title and to talk about that, but it's something that's super relevant and uh, really a big question, a big divider of a lot of people, you know? There's some people that are, each side thinks the other side's stupid. It's like, you're really gonna put that experimental injection that, you know, you don't know long-term side effects. Like, people are against taking protein powder and creatine because you don't know the long-term side effects, but you're gonna take this, um, this RNA or whatever it is into your body and do that. And then the other side's like, oh, you're stupid. You don't want to keep everyone else healthy. You want to get sick. So it's kind of like uh, hard to find the middle grounds between everyone. Most of my family is vaccinated. They had a Easter party yesterday, which is nice. They had 19 people together, which is, I guess, worth the price of taking an experimental vaccine. Um, they all were fine with it. Um, I believe no one really received negative side effects from their vaccine dose, which is good to hear. But then again, in the US, we did not have AstraZeneca, which there was controversy in Europe with that and blood clots. And yeah, I think even if ugh, it's complicated, but yeah, Latifa says no flights from London to Morocco. There's really not many flights to Morocco in general these days. Uh, someone asked if it's open to tourists. Maybe if you're in the USA, but most European countries flight boundaries are closed with Morocco at the moment. So there's no in, there's a special out. I saw the Spanish government was doing repatriation flights, but I, I think France will be doing that as well. I feel governments will always do their best to get you home. Um, it wasn't so much the case last year. It took a while for everyone to get re repatriated or back on their flights. So, Angelique, welcome. Where are you flying to Morocco from? She said, I'm excited to be flying from Morocco. If you're healthy, why get vaccinated? Enigma 01S. And I think the standard argument is to keep everyone else healthy. But if they're vaccinated, then they should be protected and I don't know. Breakfast menu today is a coffee. I'm just going back, scrolling through the comments really quick. Someone posts sushi and coffee. That's not uh, the combo I'm looking for. Someone says it's an experiment and they're testing on people. It is a mass, mass experiment. The science should be repeated. It should be done with uh, multiple trials. You know, it's, um, it's not just something we we rush or we haven't. Um, 1 a.m. from California, don't get my shot yet. I'm confused for this new flu named. People like to travel in the military, line up for shots and don't ask if it's safe, but everyone freaks out with the COVID jab. Yeah. Strange that so many people got vaccinated yet the numbers are going up. This alone should be a red flag. You go to USA, no, not going to USA yet. Uh, doing well, okay, that answers all the comments. Thank you all for joining. Um, Angelique is coming from the Philippines. Really cool. Love the Philippines. I did not know that um, 
there are flights. I wonder if you could just drop uh, what your itinerary is. Philippines, very far away. Um, one thing that I've seen in common between the Philippines and Morocco is this strong belief in God. Philippines being a Christian nation, Catholic, I believe, influenced by the Spaniards, King Philip, but everywhere is uh, love God, believe in God on all their vehicles and everything. And it's just this strong sense here in Morocco, the Allah, Islam, but it's like, uh, it's really the strong, cohesive force within the society, both of them. Uh, so I love the Philippines, enjoy some uh, Hello, hello for me over there. Better surf in Morocco though. The Philippines have more seas, but they got more mangoes over there and coconuts, which is exciting. And pork for the pork lovers. So they're really, really different cultures, but both very beautiful. I got Filipino friends that uh, made that culture really uh, close to my heart in my life. Just like Morocco at this point. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Someone says, post on Odyssey, let's not promote YouTube. Yeah, I don't want to bash the platform that's promoting me too much, but uh, it seems there's a lot of weird things going on with big tech in the USA. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Um, it's really complicated times we live in. Wish we could go back to uh, 2011 when we all just thought the world was going to end because the mind said so. Things were less complicated then. Um, someone says, Tuve el vuelo viernes de Madrid, España, a Rabat. So Zara is coming to uh, Morocco from Madrid to Rabat. Maybe she's on special business orders or governments. But uh, I don't know. I guess she's still got flights. Last time I read on Morocco World News, Spain was closed, Italy was closed. Someone says, London is a joke. I can't wait to see Morocco again. Yeah, people are frustrated with where they're at, be it London, be it Belgium, be it the Netherlands, USA. I see a lot of people protesting um, coronavirus restrictions, coronavirus lockdowns. And a lot of times the argument for these lockdowns is, um, you know, we, we protect people you don't know who's going to have long-term COVID symptoms. And it's like, we are all long haulers at this point with this lockdown, with this restrictions. Um, we're all over a year. We're all in this in the long haul. It's like, okay, maybe you could breathe. Okay. But psychologically you're not, you're not uh, breathing freely. You're not saying, Oh, I could go do this. I could do this. There's not that freedom of mind freedom from fear um, we're all kind of mind controlled and yeah really <laughs> really feeling it today so um, someone said COVID stopped me from going to Cebu City I'm sorry Moroccan fisherman um, I didn't know you're going all the way to the Philippines I guess there's this big Philippine uh, Moroccan connection that I never realized but fascinating stuff I would love to meet some Filipinos here in um, Morocco and have a little chat. I think that'd be fun. My intention this morning was to wake up early and find this little cookie bakery factory that's up here in Tamrat, but they were not here this morning. So I just went with a live stream instead, took some videos around Tamrat. Um, let me just read some of these comments. Bro, when flu comes up, all world's freaking out, and now the flu like an easy sickness. Yeah, we didn't hear about the flu. I didn't get my flu shot forever, and I didn't hear anything about flu shots this year, but they were always pushing it before. Ryanair from Madrid to Rabat on Friday. I would say make sure you have your PCR test, Sara. Um, Angelico, I'll be glad to make you halo halo and adobo. Yes, we were colonized by Spain as well, and our first religion was Islam before the Spaniards claimed. I did not know that. Fascinating history of the Philippines was they were once Islamic. I did not know that. I think it's really uh, interesting how Indonesia is Islamic, because I feel like that's so far and islandish. I would love to learn more of the history of spreading and uh, expansion of Islam in that region. Cool stuff. Andrea's still sleeping. She's in bed. You know she's pregnant. She's growing someone, so she's resting in there. 
Um, I'm in Tamarat right now, chilling with, um, you know, Grandpa over here. He's always here. He likes Baba Cool. Yeah, BBC News, I don't know. I kind of like uh, not having a boss. I could talk whatever I want here to some degree without the shadow ban of <laughs> YouTube or big tech or government. Not to sound paranoid, but things happen. Oh yeah, someone says internment camps in Canada. I don't know anything about that, but I was reading about uh, the border in the US and it's crazy what's going on right there. I, I saw something like 170,000 people in March at the border. I, you know, I read these things, I'd have to see them to believe them, but something like a thousand undocumented migrants coming to the US every day in March. And that's again, a, a huge number and a lot of teenagers and children showing up unaccompanied. And I don't know the easy answer to this. I wish the, luckily it's not my job, but to, to really see a crisis and to, I don't know. There's just a lot going on right now, right? So I'm happy to be here in Tamarat focusing on my immediate sphere, Andrea, baby on the way, and um, that's it. Hopefully having a healthy, happy world for them. Let's see what else we got here. How is Morocco right now? Morocco right now is pretty chill. Beaches open last week. Uh, very crowded beaches yesterday with uh, the last week before Ramadan. We're gearing up for that. The moon is slowly fading, so that's coming. Um, I believe vaccine rollouts here in Morocco are going faster than Europe, but slower than the USA. <laughs> Andrea getting lazy now because of her buddy. <laughs> nah, she just needs to sleep. If I was building someone inside my body, I would sleep all day. Hey, cheers. Do you need a work permit to work in Morocco if a person is from UK or European country? you need a sponsor from your employer? I believe so, you need a visa. Come back to Canada, you're taking so-called hotel for three days and charge 2,000 dirham Canadian. Yeah, that's crazy. I see uh, how quarantines and um, like these hotel stays work and it's, it's complicated. That's why we are just holding here buckled up. Um, so the, the thing now is, I don't know if people have realized, Europeans can't go to the US. You're say people can't go to Europe. So Andrea and I, to stay together right now, Morocco is uh, the place, you know. Um, she wants to be with her family, to have the baby, and each day, you know, I think that calling gets stronger and stronger. I really wish it was easy we could just go there, but it's like, it's tough, you know, it's been over a year that the uh, presidential decree has banned Europe, USA travel. Trump undid it for like a week or two. Biden came in and uh, redid the travel ban. So I was hoping Trump uh, would save the day for a little bit, but he didn't. London, you'll be charged 1,700 pounds in a hotel. Another thing is the cost of the flight itself is, um, before when I traveled to Morocco, I'd do it for, under 4,000 dirham all the way, you know. I think um, when I came here, I paid $330, 360 maybe. It was Chicago to Lisbon, Lisbon to Marrakesh, bus down to Agadir. But now going home, the only options are Casablanca to JFK, New York, or Casablanca to uh, Washington, DC. And both of those flights are 7,000 dirham. And then I would need an additional flight to Chicago. And from those airports, they're kind of like the international airports, so they don't have as much domestic going to Chicago. So it's hard to find an easy flight to Chicago. Then it's another over a thousand dirhams to Chicago. So not fun, especially when you have to wear a mask, especially when you're worried about getting sick. So I like to just hear these birds in Tamra singing to me and the waves um yeah latifa says we have to go before andrea is she said 13 weeks pregnant i don't know how many 
exactly. She's at 20 or 21 at this point. So we gotta figure out what we're doing. <laughs> we know the channel would love it if we had a baby in Tamarat. I would seek it secretly be okay with that. But Andrea wants to go home, you know, she wants to be with her family and I get that. She wants a doctor that speaks Slovenian and, you know, I get that. But, inshallah, we always say inshallah. One thing I've learned here in Morocco, I always say inshallah. That's something I believe in is we do not have the control. That is something I believe in. Any uh, grab at control is just an illusion. Um, we have some elements of free will, decision-making, destiny, but uh, it's, it's an illusion. <laughs> yeah, Latifa knows. We all know. Um, Enigma, MTK, I'm Canadian, live in Morocco. I had to write an oath for the gendarmerie that will not work. There you go. You need a visa. Um, hello to Helsinki, everyone in Finland. Snowing in UK in April. Terrible. It's really nice in Chicago. Uh, yesterday they had some 70 degrees, so like 20 degrees, I think, Celsius. Shelby the cat of her... Shabli to Shelby. I think you're talking about Jebli Cat. Uh, Morocco, you have more freedom than Canada right now. <laughs> Probably true. We could still go to the beach. I don't know the situation in Canada. I don't think Cody's too happy there. Um, we see updates from Amlu on his Instagram. Amlu, the Moroccan dog, is happy over there, playing in the snow, playing with some goats, some other dogs. Would you have the baby in Morocco or would you bother go back to USA? Uh, I would choose Morocco over USA, but I think our first choice is Slovenia. Um, I would go bankrupt if I had the baby in the USA. So that's not really an option. Um, but Slovenia is number one choice. Uh, yeah, I'm getting up early again. I'm feeling, I don't know, winter's over, you know, spring's coming. I, this is my second day, 8 a.m. Uh, so yeah, it's good. I didn't want to go on too early because I knew not so many people would be here. And now we're going on a long live stream here. We're going on a roll. I'm like, what am I going to even talk about? But it's like, I saw this article. Look at this bro traveling 5,000 miles to uh, get his vaccine from Berlin. Um, I don't know. You scared? Go home. <laughs> stay home. <laughs> but yeah, we stay home too. Staying healthy, you know. Um, someone says best witches for you and Andrea yeah they got a lot of witches in Slovenia Andrea's hometown is famous for its witch mountain Sarknica hello to Orlans, France I didn't realize there was an Orlans I guess it makes sense if there's a new Orlans there should be an old Orlans um, do you really believe in Inshallah well that's a big question uh, yes, uh, I believe in God. I'm not going to say I'm a Muslim or a Christian or a Jew, but I definitely believe in a God who has... That's where it's at, you know. It's not me. Uh, I could say I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but if it's not, it's not in the plans, it's not in the plans. And um, this is something I've learned over time. When I was younger, I was, uh, you know, I was raised Christian. I, I would say my prayer every night before I went to bed, went to college. Um, you, you start to ask questions, um, get indoctrinated a little bit in the, the biology, you know, in the evolution. And you have a lot of professors that are very, uh, very atheist and uh, like uh, antagonistic atheist where they try and tell you, you know, no, no, that's silly. God is silly. So I went through a phase where I was like, no, not so much. But um, then in my life, I have learned through my experiences to uh, surrender to God and any plan God has. Music's coming on right now, so I think that's a sign I need to sign off. We've gone 25 minutes. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. This is like the Oscars. Music comes on, I say goodbye. Uh, we'll have another live stream soon. I see you guys like this, so uh, much love. Thank you. Hang in there, guys. Um, breathe. 
eat healthy, love the ones you love, do the things you love, and smile like you mean it.